Well, hello. Uh, we're the Marine family, and we're really honored to be the recipient of the Leopold Award. Uh, that's a great honor, and it's really been an interesting process and uh, helped for us to get our thoughts together about what we're doing again and kind of renew things, so that's great. Uh, with me is Stacy Marine and Rick and Beth, my wife, and Nils. We're missing Deborah today because of a, an issue with having school children this time of year. They tend to get colds and things, and with all this going on, she's not able to come, but anyway, she's a big part of the team too. I think that is the best part of ranching, is that you can have your children near you and um, get to work with them every day. They've all grown up to be very responsible, uh, caring people and with the love of the land and the animals that we have and have to take care of. We just, every year, we, we look for more projects that we can do to conserve the land and the water resources. Well, ranching heritage and working with the land has been in the family a long time. We still have family in Sweden who are working on the land, so it's come a long way to here and we hope that it continues in the future. Uh, it's a great responsibility to take care of the land and it's very rewarding to work with nature and, and try and do the things we can to, to conserve and, and have things work well. Over the last uh, couple of decades, we've um, shifted from farming and finishing cattle in a feedlot to uh, grazing and finishing cattle on pasture. We still harvest some hay, bale some hay off of this, but we also graze it. These steers are uh, part of our Canyon Meadows Ranch natural grass-fed beef marketing program. They are about 18 months old and weighing 1,200 pounds or so now. Red Angus based breeding with some uh, cross breeding in the bulls. And they are certified natural. They've never had antibiotics or hormones. And they're grass fed and grass finished. We've taken out miles of wire fence and uh, largely replaced it with just portable fence that we move um, wherever we need it. The, the cows that are on the ranch grazing usually get moved every day and um, we, we try to manage the grazing with the right density and, and intensity so that we're, the animals are performing well and we leave ground cover to conserve moisture in the soil and um, build soil as we go. The, the bulk of our pairs run on two uh, forest permits during the summer, uh, June to mid-October. Um, they're in the, the far horizon in the back there. Those mountains are made up of kind of ridges with uh, draws and canyons. And the, the pasture's pretty good, but the stock water is a challenge. We've had to uh, kind of spread the cows out to keep them watered. Um, so over the years uh, we've worked with the, the Forest Service and with uh, Utah's Grazing Improvement Program to collect some of those springs together where we can put in storage tanks and then uh, distribution lines off of there and where we can gravity feed out onto the to the ridges. So I had a plan to come in here where where we uh, had eliminated the need for a canal and come in and make a wetland and before we could even uh, design the project, the beavers had moved in and started doing it for us. We have maintained the flood irrigation along with using sprinklers that we maintain the groundwater and habitat by, by still keeping some of the flood irrigation. And so one of our challenges are the Russian olives. So our plan is, is that we We'll maintain the irrigation here so you can have trees and to replace these with good trees such as crab apples and regular apples, and those kind of things. So there'll be some mixed in habitat with our pastures. With our 
uh, electric fencing and managed grazing, we've actually grazed the cattle through uh, areas like this regularly. The cattle will go in and kind of break it up and open it up and the grass increases and it makes it even better for the, for the wildlife. I think the land has a voice and if we uh, kind of take a big picture look and look at the ground and the water and the plants and the animals and, and the people that are making a living off the land too, um, that it'll tell us how we're doing. I think it'll tell us when we make mistakes and it shows us what we're doing that's uh, working right too.